What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Dial Visual, a.k.a. Sober Gang. And, um, man, I got a lot, a lot of content. Somebody said, David, how you going to come out with all this content? Well, you know what? I think that I'm at the point in my career where I need to just react to all the stuff that I've filmed. So, uh, welcome to The Late Show. I will be uploading at midnight on my days when I'm not working. Um, And yeah, this is The Late Show on Sober Gang TV. So today, we're going to watch a video titled Wood Street Abuse. Okay, and you might be wondering, what does this have to do with uh, sobriety? Well, caring about others is a part of my recovery. So when I found out what was happening to the homeless, to the unhoused people on Wood Street, I said, let me go investigate. So this is really just investigative journalism and part of my solidarity. Um, yeah. So let's go ahead and see what's the script. So that is a boom lift lifting up a car with stuff in it. Escorted by the highway patrol. Oh yeah. That is an unhoused person getting carried out. Oh yeah, that's not a pleasurable sight. Um, what's up, what's up? You got something you want to tell the people? Oh Save yeah, this camera. is a uh, maven. The guy was playing, this land is your land, where, you know, this land belongs to you and me. And I guess they took the <laughs> and so they took so him, and it was confusing. Look at this dude. There's other photographers right there. Get behind these officers right here. Get There's behind the officers. Right I'm giving you a lawful order, <laughs> Finley. I've got to go back to my car that way. So I need to hurry up and leave because I was giving a voice to the unhoused. That was nuts. Can you explain Look at this bloodthirsty officer. You said you were going to leave. Now he's leaving. You could tell he's a... Uh, I, I said I'm a film company. It's that way. So I'm going to have to leave that well, way. Go ahead and walk that way. Go ahead and okay. walk that way. So if not, there's going to be consequences. Well, we don't want to talk about consequences. Well, we talk about consequences. <laughs> like you said, you want to do. Yeah. Oh, man, this was a stressful moment. I can't have you back here. These guys are working, and I can't have you interfering with them. Okay, brother? All right. Actually, the job skills build our own. Yeah, that, that was annoying. But there they go with somebody unnecessarily handcuffed. Committed no crime, probably calling it trespassing at a homeless encampment. That's crazy. And let me just say that this group of um, employees, you know, they don't look union and they're not diverse. They don't have any white people, any black people. This is, you know, somebody critiqued me for saying that. You know, the city was lying about using local workers, but I said, this doesn't look like local, local workers. So it's a whole can of worms to talk about whether or not they're undocumented, documented, legally employable in the U.S., but I was just saying that these people are evicting some unhoused veterans and, I mean, if you look at this non-diverse work crew, I'm just interested to see who, what company this was. Okay. So, I guess the question is, was this abuse? Maybe it's not fair to call it abuse. Um... Yeah, maybe it was unfair of me to title this Wood Street Abuse, but it just, it seemed like oppression and the abuse of power. And, um, like somebody at the police force had promised a strong hand. Look at these guys. 
So yeah, I'm lucky I even got this footage. They would have dang arrested me if I wasn't looking legit. Yeah, I'm gonna show the other footage where I ask one of the guys, I say, hey man, are you from America? And they was like, And so I just, um, I'm gonna have to go to that because people critiqued me on that. Okay, here we go. Look at it. What is this? Oh, that's when they lift up. Uh, oh, yeah. So they were refusing to get out the car. Ooh, they got put face down in the dirt. Yeah, that's no good. This is no good. Look at these filmers. They really can't uh, do anything about what's going on, but... Dang. Okay, yeah, that was, I've seen enough. I've seen enough. Look at all my that was um, the behind the scenes of the Wood Street documentary that I was working on. I have some competition. I guess there's a couple other Wood Street documentaries. So this project was a little bit of a waste of time because there's a couple other Wood Street documentaries coming. But basically, this is behind the scenes footage of the Wood Street documentary. And um, like I said, you know, there was a situation where. I had asked the laborers that were there, I'm like, where are you guys from, man? Y'all from America? And it was like, nah. And, and um, I'm like, yo, you feel me? Y'all evicting uh, Americans. Y'all evicting veterans. Y'all evict. This was the biggest encampment in Northern California. Let me see this other one, Wood Street highlights. Oh, yeah, this is the one where I, where I say that they're not from America. Uh, and this is... The context that I speak of when I when I say this, okay, look. So I'm filming this. This footage is actually in a documentary. Uh, I'm doing a documentary. Everything I'm catching is in the documentary. All right, are you cool with being in the documentary? Okay, okay. He says I'm not. Well, leave me alone. Okay. So I Appreciate it. Yep. Both down the sides. Even though in order to leave, I gotta be there. Alright. See, he's just trying to put me in a position where I get arrested for not cooperating. I gotta be with somebody. I need an escort. He has somebody white. Is he with you? <laughs> I'm my own boss, dog. Do you think these are legal Americans? That's what I got in trouble for. People got mad. I said Migos. I'm half Mexican, so I feel like I could say Migos. Are legally employable in America? You don't think? I was wrong for that. I ain't gonna lie. I apologize to my people. But I said they're evicting Americans. Are you aware that Caltrans got sued 5.5 million on the settlement when they unconstitutionally got rid of? Hold on, I'm asking a question. You Do you know? You get away are you gonna hurt me? Are you about to hurt me, bro? I'm just talking to you with some tough coffee. Do you know about Caltrans unconstitutionally? Do you believe in the Constitution? Do you believe in the Constitution? That's a real question. Americans that are getting rid of, they're getting rid of Americans. Bro, he told me to walk there. You just told me to walk there. Look at Herrera. This officer. What's your name? He said, "I'm tapping you." He's going in the documentary. So if you don't want to be in the documentary, okay, okay. You keep when are you gonna touch me again? How many more times are you gonna touch me? How many more times are you gonna touch me, boy? Where did you tell me to walk? Did you tell me to walk that way? You told me to walk that way. Beta. Okay, he told me to walk that way. You're fake alpha. Okay. Herrera. You're unconstitutionally policing me. Alright, this this where it go. This where it go. Watch. These are a bunch of illegal migos. I say illegal migos. I apologize to my people. Everybody's working. 
and I'm working too, and I'm working on a documentary, and your guys' threatening behavior is going to be in the documentary. They was about to beat my. Get out of it. That's it. They was about to hurt me. Can just beat me down and unconstitutionally arrest me too. All right. Yeah, that's funny too. I'm here for it. Yeah, I said you could beat me down. What? News tonight. Beat me down. I'm filming. (laughs) Because once they know, it's like okay, you'll go to jail. Don't really care. Look at this. Watch this part. Unconstitutional and you fucking laugh like you don't give a fuck. Part of my language. Caltrans, unconstitutional, 5.5 million. You guys are defending an unconstitutional eviction. We can prove that too. Caltrans is not ethical. Come on. Why isn't there a bunch of white and black guys working here? It doesn't look like a group of Americans. It's got to be diverse. If they were equally and fair, you know, if they were hired in a fair way, and right. In a fair way. If the hiring process was fair. Had a bunch of people that don't look like they're legally employed in the U.S. I was just big Americans. Yeah, I stand by that. I stand by that. I'm not. Ex military. You ex military. He said, yeah, "Yep." Yes, you are. You look like it. This shit's unconstitutional, bro. This is not what Uncle Sam is about. Uncle Sam wants you. Ooh, I, I got him. But but I want even further for my Latinos. Um, I mean, a documentary. I want y'all to watch this next part. From America, bro. Look, are you, are you from America, from America? bro? Are you getting rid of Americans out in this? He country? said no. He said no. Why you don't have to tell me he's from America or not? So, you know, it's all love, all love to my, my uh, immigrants. Uh, the people from Mexico, um, people from Guatemala, people from El Salvador, everywhere. I love you guys. Y'all my people. You know, this was a moment where I had to be a little bit shocking. And so I kind of came off as just more like, yo, I'm not coming as a um, communist, uh, anarchist. Like, let's say I'm coming as a true blue American. It's still a problem. So the reason why I did this, because I know a lot of these dudes, you know, they're conservative. They they fight for their gun rights and whatnot. So I'm like, I'm playing into their own game. I'm like, okay, you guys care about America. You want to make America great again type of dudes. Well, are these guys that are doing the eviction even from America? And even furthermore, is the company that hired them, Who? what's their name? You know what I mean? How come these dudes is um, their their jackets or whatever doesn't have a logo on it? So yeah, man, I hope that the people, the followers that I lost because of this old video, uh, can kind of see my perspective and just see like you know I'm sticking up for poor people at the end of the day, you know, and and right now the poorest people were not the laborers but actually the unhoused. So I'm sticking up for the unhoused. I'm saying, hey man. Get this team of non-diverse um, employees out of here. Come back with a a diverse team of, you know, it was a hundred people. It was like a hundred people doing the labor. So it was just like it wasn't fair that they had, you know, uh, planned this so quickly. So in my mind, I was just trying to throw a wrench in the system. And this that's the approach I chose to take on this day. Um, and at the end of the day, I, w- I was right. So, you know, I stand on what I said, but I know I offended some people. So I apologize, you know, to, to my freedom fighters, uh, in the Latino community, you know, uh, it could seem like I'm not in solidarity with you, but at the end of the day, you know, I live in the neighborhood that this eviction was happening. And I've, I felt like fighting for the poor. I felt like fighting for the poorest people in the situation. I know the, the, the laborers, they're poor people too, you know, but at the end of the day, they working. They got what it, you know, they working. These people that are getting their stuff thrown out. This was the largest encampment in Northern California. I mean, I think I might even have some other footage. Let me go to the KTVU footage that I almost submitted to KTVU. See if I don't got a little bit of, uh, so that's the new build, okay, this is the new build, but, yeah, and once again, to all my Latinos, to all my immigrants, you know, it's all love, you know what I mean, my people come from Puerto Rico and uh, and Mexico, 
So I'm Afro Latino, so you know what I'm saying. It was really more so like uh, satire, but I know that uh, it didn't come off that way to everybody. But you know what? At the end of the day, everybody don't fight for what I fight for, stand up for what I believe in. So I, I'm not about to super watch my words um, for people who don't support the many causes that I believe in, you know, so... Anyway, oh yeah, there we go. So under there, all of that was an encampment. And there was a lot of people back here. And they all got just their stuff demoed with not much warning. It was all under this freeway. It was the biggest encampment in Northern California. And the clear part was an encampment too. So this was really hard to accept for me because it's like, where do these unhoused people go? So I bring the drone up a little bit closer. And um, yeah, man, this was a, a tragedy for sure. This was tragic. And then you see the uh, the RVs right there. This is amazing footage, so I'll tell you that. So, yeah, man. Um, I'm glad I got to do this segment. You know what I mean? Oh, I follow this dude with the bike. This is going to be my outro. But, um, yeah, I'm really glad I got to do this segment because it's it's uh, it explains some of what I was told. Like, oh, basically, you out of pocket by someone who didn't even show up and fight for these people. They, they were mad at the way I fought for them. So it's just, you know, it's easy to tell you what to do, but it's harder to lead by example. So, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, you know, specifically to the button lady, you feel me? That's my folks, man. But she got hella mad at me about, uh, about that Migos comment. So, you know, check these dudes out, man. This is crazy. Trying to save a motorcycle in hopes to get it up and running so they can be mobile one day. But it's just not that realistic, you feel me? Um, anyway, man, it's your boy Davis, a.k.a. David. Uh, peace to all the freedom fighters. Solidarity to the black and the brown. And um, to the Americans and the immigrants and the people from other countries. And the, uh, you know. I mean, where are you supposed to go? Uh, I do an interview with this guy. We want you to assist us. And I think that you guys have the means in which to do so. So, release the bag. My name is Lamont J. Ford. I'm going to pass it now. Shout out to Lamont J. Ford, man. We got an interview. I'm going to drop that. But yeah. So, um, welcome to the late show, man. We 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 break stuff down late at night, man, for the show. Uh, anyway, it's your boy Davis, a.k.a. David. And, uh, man, I got to edit this and put it on YouTube, man. This is exciting. And like I said, you know, to the laborers who are there kicking them people out, man, I'm not against you. Um, I'm against this system that's putting us uh, against each other, but I just want to make it 100% clear. You feel me? Uh, I'm sticking up for the underdog. I'm sticking up for the poorest person losing the fight. I'm sticking up for the one getting bullied, and most of the times I'm doing it by any means necessary. So anybody that got a problem with what I did, if, if you still have a problem with what I did, go follow somebody else. I did what I did. You know what I'm saying? Then my name is David Ocasio. David Ocasio TV, a.k.a. David. Uh, I'm Mexican and Puerto Rican. And, uh, and and nobody owns me. I'm not sponsored by anybody. I'm not uh, working for anybody. You can't complain to anyone about me. But go complain to your friends, your elitist friends, your little fake Illuminati friends. And, uh, yeah, man, I did what I did. It's the gang. You feel me? We keep it, we keep it sober, man. We stick up for people, man. Uh, we're employable. We're sober, gang. And that's what I got to say, man. I'm out. Peace.